Hello folks, this is Ted White, and today I'm gonna to show you how to create a negative text effect in CapCut PC. Now, what is a negative text effect? It's when the colors of the video inside of the text are inverted or opposite to the colors of the original background video. So you're ready to do this? Let's check it out. All right, folks, so the first thing we're going to do today is import the file in which we'll create the negative text effect with. So I'm just gonna go up here under media. I'm just gonna go to import, okay? So I'm gonna select that, and then I am going to select this clip right here and click open. From there, I'm just going to drag and drop this down to the timeline, okay? And then it's just gonna take a minute to load. And then what I'm gonna do initially is just cut a little bit of the beginning here. So I'm just gonna go right to about here before she goes on to the first step, right here. And I'm gonna hit the letter Q, which will cut everything left of the playhead. So the first little bit of the clip will be cut. If you just press Q here, there, it's gone. So then the next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to make a duplicate of this particular clip, all right? I'm also gonna turn the volume down. So first I'll turn the volume down and then I'll make a duplicate. So I'm gonna hold down Alt on my keyboard and drag up, okay, to right about there. Now we have a duplicate and there's no volume, great. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually create a green screen. Okay, and it's really easy. All you gotta do is go to the text tab up here, click on that, then there's default text. Just click this blue circle and add a text layer. Click on the edge of the text layer and make sure the text box is highlighted and click on the edge and drag it all the way till you see the blue vertical line on the right here. And that means it's the same size as the clips below. So then all you're gonna do is highlight default text in the text box here. So text, basic default text. I'm gonna put the number one in. And then what I'm gonna do is click on one of the edges here. It can be any of the four edges. And I'm gonna drag it, make it as big as possible. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to font size here. It automatically defaults to 15. I'm gonna highlight that. And I'm gonna make this 500. Hit enter. And then I'm gonna drag this white color so that it takes up the whole screen, okay? And then I'm gonna change this color to, of course, green. And then we have our green screen, easy as pie, okay? So that's how you create a green screen in CapCut PC. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to add a text layer so that we can have the negative text effect, all right? So I'm gonna click on this blue circle. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to hide the green screen for now, we will bring it back and we will use it later, okay? So in order to hide it, you just go over here where it says hide track and you click on that and then it becomes blue highlighted, all right? So it's hidden. So for this default text layer right here, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna click on the edge, hold the click and drag it to the right until I see the blue vertical line. Release and now it's the same size as the clips below. So. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna position the text. So I'm just gonna move the playhead and what I want is I wanna get a bit of everything. I wanna get a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of the dog here on the top, the steps and the sky, any one of these cottages and go from there. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna resize, reposition the text. So first I'm gonna change the text from default text. I'm gonna call it negative for the purposes of this tutorial. Okay, and I'm gonna make sure that the N is capitalized. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it up here, okay? And I'm gonna change the font. I'm gonna go, it says system. I'm gonna type in Anton, A-N-T-O-N, -N, and I'm going to hit enter, all right? And then it's going to bring up this. There's a paid version and a free version. I'm fine with the free version. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it bigger. Okay, so I'm gonna make it pretty big. Probably about that big or so. Let's just see how this plays out and where it's located. Yeah, I'll make it a bit bigger than that. 
and a bit higher. Okay, there we go. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to change the color. And I'm gonna actually change the color here to navy blue. So some people would change this to black, but my this dog here is black. So I have to change it to blue uh, in order to, when I do the chroma key and it takes out the color and then leaves this particular video in back, I don't want it to take out a piece of the dog. So I'm gonna use this as navy blue and there's no other navy blue within this scene, okay? So you can use any color as long as that color is not within the scene. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some character spacing. So I'm just gonna change from zero to one and as you can see it puts some space in between the letters here and then I'm gonna scroll down and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to add a stroke now it automatically defaults to black for me anyway and I'm gonna change that to white I also don't like the thickness of the stroke I don't want them touch it I don't want the stroke touching from one letter to the next so I'm just going to reduce the thickness and how I'm gonna do that is I'm going to click on the thickness here and drag it to the left until it's not touching, okay? That to me looks good. All right, so let's just take a look at the playhead here. I just wanna make sure everything's situated properly. And to me, it looks pretty good. I'm touching a bit of everything here, that's great. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I am going to unhide the green screen. So I'm just gonna go over here to where it says show track and hun highlight that particular icon and then the next step is i'm going to click off of this and then i'm going to click hold the click drag it over the two text layers both text layers release and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold down on alt on my keyboard and hit g as in george all right now we just created a compound clip so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm actually going to go up here to video so I'm going to make sure the newly created compound clip is highlighted the top layer I'm going to go over here to video and click on that and then right beside basic there's remove BG I'm going to go to chroma key I'm going to click on that and then I'm just going to click on color picker click on it again and then I'm going to click on the blue I'm not going to click on the green yet just the blue okay I'm going to click on that I'll just bring the intensity up a little bit doesn't have to be up too much because if you bring it too much it destroys everything and you do not want that so I'm gonna bring it up to maybe right about there and then I'm gonna look at the shadow and I'll play with the shadow and try to bring this up a bit okay and yeah that's too much right so right about somewhere anywhere around here is seems to be fine okay so I'm pretty pleased with that the next step what we're gonna do is we are going to go down to this particular layer right here. And this is the whole purpose of this tutorial. So when I say we're going to make a negative text effect, uh, we're going to invert the colors. And by invert the colors, I mean we're going to make them opposite. So we're gonna make everything within inside the text here on this particular layer opposite of what it is right now, okay? So it's gonna be the opposite colors of what they are right now. So how we're going to do that is we're gonna make sure that this middle layer is highlighted, which is the one that's peeping through the text here. We're gonna go up here, we're gonna click the right arrow, and then it says adjust here, okay? So we're gonna wanna go do adjust. I'm gonna click on adjust, all right? And then you just simply go to curves. And then there's four curves and they're all right now in the same position, okay? As you can see right here, they're all the same and we're gonna change them. We're gonna change them all, but we're gonna change them all the same way, the exact opposite, okay? And how we do that is we click on this and drag it up to this corner. And then we click on this corner and drag it down. And then we just simply rinse and repeat for the red Drag it up on that corner, drag it down on this corner. Drag the green up on this corner 
and drag down on this corner. And finally, the blue. Drag it up on this corner and drag it down on this corner. And now, as you can see over here, the colors are all inverse. They're all the exact opposite of what they were. So that's pretty cool. So now what we're going to do is since we have this the way we want, we're gonna click off of this. We're going to click, hold the click, drag, and what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this text inside stays this color and it stays the inverse of what this is. OK, so it says the opposite colors of what this is. So since these both are highlighted, what we're going to do is we're simply going to create a compound clip. So I'm going to hold down on Alt and hit G as in George. And now we got a compound clip. Perfect. The next step is we're going to, I'm just going to take the playhead down a bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that the top clip is highlighted. Okay. And then I'm going to go up here. So I'm going to go to my right. I'm going to go to video and then click on the video tab on the right here and then go back to remove BG, go to chroma key, color picker, color picker again. And now, of course, we're going to get rid of the green. All right. So I'm going to click on the green and there we go. The green is gone. So then what you can do is you can go to intensity. You can increase it, but you don't want to overdo it. As you see, it just destroys everything. So you basically want to do it until you until right before things start to change. So right about here is probably pretty good. And then as for shadow, you can play with this as well. And you can bring that up if you need to, but I'm just going to leave it somewhere around here. I'm pretty satisfied with this. So as you can see, this dog is black, but the dog is white at the top here. Um, and this, uh, this has turned out pretty good. So let's let's take a look here. I'm going to put it on full screen. Let's play it out and see what it looks like. All right, folks, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.